Hey guys, it's Friday. I finally got home from work. This is literally what I wore because I wanted to be super comfy. But I came home and look who sent me a package. If you watched that video, then you know me and Lancome have been besties forever. My mom has used Lancome ever since I was a kid, so I grew up as a kid with my mom using Lancome every single day. That was her go-to brand. She bought literally everything from Lancome. I was super excited to get this package. I opened it and I was shook. I had to call my mom. It's like one of those things that like me and my mom bond over. They sent me a package and I'm gonna unbox it with you guys and show you guys what they sent. I also did like a little TikTok unboxing it as well. They sent me so many of their new lipsticks. Look at that. And then like look at these colors. Iconic. Also their packaging. Amazing. I literally have one of their lipsticks on right now because i wanted to try it on they also sent over the ultra precise waterproof liner in brown and i'm very excited because i've been trying to venture more out and my mom used these products all the time these two in particular when i was a kid these two were a staple in my house my mom this is a, a double action eye makeup remover she has used this since i was a kid iconic love it and then the genifique uh youth activating concentrate so so freaking excited and happy to have this package and i'm so grateful to lancome because i don't know it just gives me that fuzzy feeling and i talked about this in the other video that because they sent me a package then too um lancome just has like such a special <laughs> such a special place in my heart and to be able to like bond with my mom over makeup and a brand just makes me so happy and very 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 grateful so i love that um but i have not eaten i literally got off work and me and trevor haven't eaten trevor's been off for a little while now we can finally talk about his new job um his job is going well he has half days on friday so he gets here a lot earlier than i do from work but I had a good day at work. What did I do? What did I watch today? Today we watched, honestly, unserious movies. It was like super chill. Um, but I want to get ready because, oh, I'm obsessed with this right now. I ended up getting the Finery scent. I've been obsessed with this. If you follow me on TikTok, then you know. This one is Before the Rainbow. These scents are like dupes for other ones. And this one, I'm obsessed. Rain finally stopped. It was literally raining cats and dogs all day today. It was actually kind of scary trying to like drive home. Um, and then I felt so bad because I saw UPS and Amazon workers. So I stopped and gave them like fresh cold water because I felt bad because obviously as a daughter of someone who literally does deliveries all day every day, I love to make sure that they're like, they have water and they're good. Um, so when my ups person dropped this off i gave him some waters and he just said thank you and i try to take care of my delivery drivers We have to fix a crisis because our recycle bin freaking fell. Her and Amy, well, Amy went to church with Olivia because Olivia is getting baptized. And we're going to go eat lunch with them. Amy should be getting out in just a little while. And I need to wash my hands. Hey girlies, good morning. We definitely need to pump gas, but we are going to my mom's house. And I also wanna go to UPS, but I need to make sure that they're open because I have some returns I have to do. Okay, they're open. So let's get the return labels together. Let's go to UPS real quick. And then for sure we need to pump gas. Not that we had pumped, but I guess not. So I've been on like my waking up grind. I love this for me. Also, I need to stop at Dollar Tree. So I'm debating if I should do all of this now. 
now or just wait for my mom it's 10 38 i'm thinking because i don't even know if i told you guys this aunt is coming into town today so the reason that i'm going to my mom's is because i'm going to go with her to go pick up my aunt Aunt is coming into town and she's going to hitch a ride with us out of town so that we can all go to the family reunion next weekend because today's sunday so the family reunion is next saturday she's coming and gonna be here and chilling with us until thursday we should be leaving thursday we'll see how this goes but also the kids are spending the night tonight so olivia and omar and amy are all coming to my house well like amy's not a kid but you you get what i'm saying um she's bringing the kids over because i had told amy that i wanted her to come spend the night at my house this week and normally like we just have like a super chill week so her and olivia um had planned already i had said i said whatever day you guys want to come spend the night let me know and i'll have the room ready for you um so we're bringing all the kids I just want to hurry up and get these returns done because that's like 40 dollars that i get back in my account and i don't know if you guys are like this let me know but especially when it comes to like amazon purchases i always just have it go back into my amazon account i don't really have it go back into my debit card or my credit card because i feel like i'm always buying stuff on amazon so like having it already in there like takes off it's kind of like girl math it just takes off some of the money that that i would have had to spend on other items and i buy something from amazon at least once a week Kind of my first time being at a UPS that was like mainly male dominated. Um, normally when I go to UPS, there's only ever females, but that was really fast. I try to make it as fast for them as possible. I hate being that person that like holds up other people. I love H-E-B. I also, okay, I don't know if I've talked to you guys about this because we really haven't like sat down and like chitted the chat for a little while, but I am going on a trip. I'm going on several trips actually. One, we're obviously doing the family reunion and that's happening next week. And then I am going to Arizona with my mom my, and a couple of my BS. So I am trying to figure out that side of things. I'm gonna have to figure out the content, but I know I wanna bring you guys because that is such a cool trip to go on. We're gonna go to several different places. I have like a list and a couple places, like food places that I thought would be cool. So I don't know, I'm excited. I haven't been to Arizona since I was, I think, 18. So that's almost 10 years ago. That is crazy. I'm 27. And so going back to Arizona is going to be so cool because I feel like I'll get it from a way different perspective than when I was younger. I went there for my like high school graduation gift we went to arizona nevada and california because normally whenever my parents were those parents that they gifted us like trips and i loved that because i i would rather have an experience than like a gift i'm more like like my parents were amazing and they got us like cars which was amazing but like i loved the fact that my parents always made it a point to take us on trips and we were very we've been to a lot of different places in our lives and that is probably one of the things that i'm most grateful to my parents for because they really said like we're traveling and so i'm very excited 
for that trip and I'll, honestly just to go like with my mom because me and my mom have never went on a trip I don't think just the two of us like without my sister and obviously like we're going to miss Amy so much because Amy is like Amy's like the other half to my brain cell but I think it's important that like me and my mom also have that like time so I'm excited to go on a trip with my mom and I don't know my mom's just fun like I know a lot of people who not that they don't understand but like that don't have that experience with their parents so I'm very grateful that like I have such a solid relationship with mine. Mom and Amy made barbacoa aka they mixed cachete and lengua together because mom says that that's the best mix is putting the cheek and the tongue together and then just mixing the meat so that's what I'm doing they made it in the crock pot and it smells amazing so we're having barbacoa for breakfast normally whenever we were in the valley we would always go to like the tortilleria and get this and everybody over there gets it on Sundays uh, cilantro, chile, tomate, and uh, garlic. Love it. And of course, salt. So now we're gonna try a taco. And we grabbed the tortillas from the local tortilleria. Yum! Thank you, Lord, for this meal. And thank you for the hands that prepared. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just what the doctor ordered. Your chile hit my tongue and automatically. But it's not the worst. Mm -mm. She's definitely done worse. Oh, yeah. You know what we should do? Huh? The hot ones, um, sauces. How bad do you really think they'll be? I have no idea, but I feel like they're not that bad because on Selma Hayek's episode, she was sitting there and she was like, I mean, it's hot, but it's not hot, hot. She's like, I've definitely had hotter. And then when she got to the last one, she was like, who am I killing today? Because one of y'all I'm going to kill today. Mm -hmm. So for the workup, it wasn't bad. But for that last one, she said it was terrible. Mm -hmm. You know what video I was watching the other day just because I wanted to like look back at? Our video at the cabins of us doing the maze. <laughs> I, was I don't like, know how dad did that if he had just had surgery a few months before. How long had it been? Well, no, it had been probably like six, Dame eso, ma. A ver, like six months. <laughs> we had so much fun though. I can't believe it's still so fresh. Because of the bowl. Huh? Because of the bowl. Then. That trip was so fun. No, the one I want to take the one to there. Colorado. Colorado. It's the first time I actually mix cachete with lengua. I thought you have done it before. No. It's called, well in the valley they call it especial. My sister and my little cousins are at my house and they spent the night last night. Amy has to go to this like little mini meeting at her school because she already got her certification to be a dental assistant. My cousins spent the night last night so we could, hi. I was like, who the fuck are you talking to? The vlog, you want to come say hi? Do I look presentable enough? Well, I don't look presentable, but look. I was telling them what we're doing. You want to tell them what we're doing today? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Taylor Swift. Um, we are going to go celebrate Olivia's 15th birthday by taking her to a Korean fried chicken shop in Carrollton mm -hmm. and stop at a few stores over there. Yeah. You want to tell her how our sleepover went last night? I don't know how yours went in here, but mine over there, I had 
Omar's foot in my back and Olivia had one up her butt. So So that's about how because we made him sleep to the feet. I don't know why they don't sleep on the air mattress because I said Omar won't do that. I know he won't. He wants to be in the cheese. Yeah, he wants to be cuddled up. I mean other than that we were good. Olivia woke up last night and started talking to herself. No. Girl, I was scared. What was she saying? She I uh, I was I was still on TikTok and all of a sudden it was like two hours into her being asleep. She uh -huh. she goes, mm -hmm, I told you the bra was there. I turned to her and I said, what did you just say? She was like, yeah, I just told you. <laughs> and then what did you do? Excuse me, what? <laughs> oh my God. And she that's... scared me. I, I asked her, I was like, are you awake? Because I thought she was having a perfect car. How do you all have a full on conversation with me <laughs> and be <sighs> slow? I'm telling you that there ain't no other way. Pack your bags and then you will go away. I'm not gonna be begging you to stay. Mm -hmm. So maybe if you asked me yesterday, I would handle this differently. Guys, we made it to the the Korean chicken spot. That looks so it does. Look at they have so many things. That's where we're going. We've been here before, me and Amy, but I think they renamed it. So we've been here before. Excited? Just don't raise up your arms and count. Huh? Yeah, I said, are we excited? <laughs> It was so good that Lily really <laughs> What was your rating out of 10? Uh, Five ten. star on Yelp. Five star on Yelp. A 10 out of 10? 100. They didn't think that we were going to have so that much good. food, but they gave such good portions. Yeah, and it's such a good price too. Yeah. It's so good. It's in Carrollton. I'll put like a link or something if any of you guys live nearby and want to come. But we're going to H Mart. My sister and my cousins just left a little while ago. And they're going to their house because we are going on our trip in a couple days and i'm actually getting my hair done tomorrow so i want to wash it even though you would think like there's no point in washing your hair you're gonna get it done tomorrow i want to wash it i want it to be straight because i've never been to this girl before and since i've never been to her obviously i don't know if she's going to be used to like my hair texture and also like my hair is like dirty right now. So I'm gonna wash it. And I have scalp oil in my hair. I'm kind of just like working that through my scalp. 